Okay, so this one that we have a circle, we're going to need to remember one of those circle formulas that you need for level 2 functional skills. Um, but we'll come to that in a minute when we need it. So let's give it a read through. Joanna is a landscape gardener. She has to fill a circular space with flowers. The radius of the circular space is 4.5 meters, like it's shown. Joanna will plant 40 flowers per square meter of space. She will plant four times as many red flowers as white flowers. How many red flowers will she plant? So this is actually, I, I, to me, this is a really tough question because it's five marks and to, do, to get those marks, you need to do some, some, of the, some of the really tricky stuff that's on functional skills. But the first thing we need to know is the area of the circular space that she's going to fill with flowers. Now, if it was a rectangle, we would just do base times height. If it was a triangle, we'd do base times height divided by two. But there's a very different formula for the area of a circle. That area is pi times the radius squared. Um, now we've been given the radius, uh, and this is a formula that you do need to know, of course, because you need it for this question. Um, we need to do pi times the radius squared. Um, just as a reminder, pi is just a number. Uh, it's approximately 3.14, and it's fine to use 3.14. Because it would take us a really long time to write out 3.14, every time we use it, we just use this symbol, uh, pi. So to work out the area, we need to do 3.14 times 4.5 squared. So the first thing I'm going to do is work out what 4.5 squared actually is. Uh, 4.5 times 4.5 equals 20.25. So that's the radius squared. Um, and just, just to make it clear, I did that first. I did the radius squared first because bid mass tells us that we square things before we multiply in an equation or in a calculation. So I found out what the radius squared is. The radius squared is 20.25. Uh, so I can, if, if you like, you can mentally say that what we're actually doing now is pi times 20.25 because that's what the radius squared is. Uh, so then we do that. Uh, pi is 3.14. So next we have to do 3.14 times by 20.25. And 20.25 times pi gives us this number. That is the area of the circular space that Joanna is going to fill with flowers. So I'm going to put area of... Uh, space, area of the circle, area of the thing that she's going to fill with flowers. Now we're told that Joanna will plant 40 flowers per square meter of space and we have 63.585 square meters. Uh, perhaps I can even make it clearer. The units of this are meters squared. Um, it's, you, you can't really put like a little tiny two but you know what I mean. That's meters squared and that's the area of the space. So she can put 40 flowers in one square meter of the space. So if she had like two square meters, then she could put two lots of 40 flowers. If she had three square meters, she could do three lots of 40 flowers. We've got 63.585 square meters, meters squared. So she can get 63.585 lots of 40 flowers in there. So I hope that makes sense. Because we've got 63 and a bit meters squared, we can get 63 and a bit lots of 40 flowers in that space. Um, let me see if I can explain one more, one, one, one more different way to explain why we're doing this. Uh, a meter squared looks on this diagram something like that. And we've worked out that you can get 60, um, 63.585 of these little squares inside this entire thing. So that, um, that's not very good to scale, but 63 meter squared means that we have 63 of these square meters in our circle. And each one of those, we're told, she's gonna to put 40 flowers in. So if we have 60 or three of those, that's 63 lots of 40 flowers that we can put in. So next, I'm going to take that number and multiply by um, 40. And the answer is this, uh, 2,543, so quite a lot of flowers. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure my cursor is in the right place and then put that in the working box. That is the total flowers. Right, we're, we're getting there. So this is some tough stuff, but the next thing we need to do is use this. So she's gonna plant 2,543 flowers all together, and she's going to plant four times as many red flowers as white flowers. That's actually a ratio. So the fact that she's doing four times as many red flowers means that the ratio of red to white is four to one. So can you see how that means four times as many red flowers as white flowers? 
which actually means we need to divide by 5 to split to work out what one part of the ratio is so that we can then work out what four parts of the ratio is. So our next step is to take that total number of flowers and I'm going to round it to the nearest whole number because uh, you can't have a decimal number of flowers. So next what we need to do oops, uh, next what we need to do is take the total number of flowers and we're going to divide it by five. The reason why we're dividing by five is because we're trying to split it in the ratio of four to one um, which means I need to split it into five pieces altogether so I can give out four of them to the red flowers and one of them to the white flowers. So I divide by five, that's what one part of the ratio is worth, and because the red flowers are four times as common, uh, I'm going to times that by four to share the total number of flowers in the ratio. Again, it's a decimal and we can't have a decimal number of flowers, so it's going to have to be the nearest whole number. Uh, she is going to need 2,034 flowers. Now, I want to talk through that last thing we did where we split it in the ratio. I want to talk through that again because that was quite uh, tough. Um, we have 2,543 flowers that we need, to we need to decide how many are going to be red and how many are going to be white. What we've done is split 2,543. When we divided it by five, we split it into five pieces. Uh, and we worked out that each piece, we worked out here, each piece is worth 508.6. The reason why we divide it by 5 is because that allows us to split it in the ratio 4 to 1, where these four parts or four, four shares are red and this one share is white. And if each share is 508.6, then four shares, which is what red gets, is 508.6 times 4, which is why we did that here. Uh, and then all we have to do is round to the nearest whole number um, to get a whole number of flowers. Um, okay, right. That's it. That, that is a really tough question, honestly. It involves some of the really nastiest stuff that people aren't um, happy about. Area of a circle where you've got to remember the formula and then use it correctly. That's really tough. Um, ratio where it doesn't even really tell you a ratio. It doesn't give you like four dot dot one. It says there's four times as many red flowers as white flowers. Um, and then there's a proportion thing in the middle there where we had to work out how many flowers you can plant in the first place. So really tough question. Um, hope that helped. Thank you very much. On to the next one.